Hi everyone, this is Afsar Ali. In today's session, we are gonna start with WebDriver IO installation part. So there are some prerequisites that we need to install some Java need to be installed. Java home path need to be set in environment variable. Then Node.js also need to be installed because uh, WebDriver IO is purely depend on Node.js. It's a JavaScript binding. And NPM, this is node package module that is part of Node.js. It will be automatically installed if you install this one, Node.js. And then the fourth one is Visual Studio Code uh, for writing your uh, scripts, JavaScript, uh, or writing your test, or any other editor that if you would like to install, I would prefer Visual Studio Code for the time being. And any of the browser need to be installed in your machine if you are using uh, windows then yeah obviously ie and firefox should be there or you can install chrome browser as well and cucumber framework also we need to add some library um, in webdriver io project the chai for assertion we need to uh, include some dependency inside webdriver i webdriver io uh, project well so let's go and install each and every dependencies uh, Java so for Java you need to go to this uh, website and try to download uh, let us Java 1.8 or yeah 1.8 would be okay I'm not gonna download it I already have downloaded it in my system so if you do not have Java installed in your machine. Just check. You can check like Java hyphen person. Or oh, sorry, Java C. So Java compiler. So th that means it's already being installed. Okay, and Java hyphen version. Java version. Fine, you can see it's 1.8 is installed in my machine. So if you have not installed yet, you have to install it and set in your environment variable. So I'm gonna not going to do that installation part. It's pretty simple. And then the Node.js, so for Node.js, just go to nodejs.org and in here, download Node.js dependency based on your system. If you are using Windows 64-bit, uh, 32-bit or Mac, so depending upon your OS, you just download that Node module. So for checking, if you have already installed, you can check your version of Node. Go to command prompt and type node minus p. So you can see I have already installed 8.5. And also next thing is npm. You can check npm version as well. So I have 5.3 npm version installed in my machine. And the Visual Studio code, you can go to Visual Studio site code.visualstudio.com and install based on your operating operating system then you need to have chrome ie that is okay if you must have one of them that's fine then cucumber and chai assertion this thing will include in our framework level so we'll talk about that while we start our npm module okay let me create one folder called WebDriver IO. Within here, I'll be writing all my codes, all the WebDriver IO tests. Okay, so in here, you can open CMD or Git Pass. So I'm opening my Git Pass here. After that, you need to do 
something called npm init so basically this will create one package dot json file that will contain all your dependencies is similar to uh, what you call maven pom.xml file right in uh, java world so i would say web driver io tutorial okay version is okay description this is a basic web driver io tutorial entry point is okay test command okay git repository enter enter author sir ali license enter and right s enter so we have created one package dot json file so which will contain all the information about your project it's a kind of maven project uh, in uh, the java world similarly in node uh, package.json will contain all the information about the project so if you go inside this here in webdriver io folder uh, one package.json file is being created let me open this uh, package.json file in visual studio code let's see how it looks so you can see the package.json so basically from file menu just go open folder right so same folder you need to just select folder open and you will see whatever present within that folder and i can see the package.json file is uh, the only one file is present there so you can see whatever information we have provided in um, bash command so those information is being here already there then we need to install something within this package.json we need to install a oh, web driver io first let's see right click here go to open in terminal okay in terminal see bass so for installing any package npm install web driver io okay web driver io then save dev so it will install your web driver io dependencies and you will see within this package.json it will be added and yes you can see there is something called dev dependency i have added it as a dev dependency so within dev dependency webdriver io 5.8.1 this is the latest version available at this time so it's being added here and one more module node module is being added and package uh, lock.json is being also added automatically if you try to install this one npm install right one more thing we need to install is npm install cucumber save dev Okay, so it's being added. Cucumber also is being added over here. Okay, so you can do either in this uh, terminal window or, or you can do from um, bash command line directly opening from here as well. The, this is the same thing altogether, right? And also I have added uh, WDIO Selenium standalone service as well. It, it, it will uh, work on top of selenium standalone server now install wdio um, cli so command line interface so for that you need to install npm install save dev 
WDIO CLI. Okay, now we can see WDIO CLI is being added. So the next thing is we need to create one config file. So the config file is a file which will run our whole uh, suit, like whatever test we write uh, in Cucumber, like step definition, feature file. So everything will be uh, mentioned on that config file. And based on that config file, um, our test will run. So let's create one config file. So for creating config file, what you need to do is uh, go to this node modules bin.wdio, then write config. So basically within this node module, there is something called bin. And within that bin, there is a WDIO uh, here. And that will, uh, here it should be, WDIO. Here it is. You can see the WDIO within that. This WDIO will um, create our config file, and basically, it is a runner. It will run our JavaScript uh, files. Okay, so let's get started with this one. Let's enter it. Let's see what happens. Here it's asking where should your test be launched? Use arrow keys. It's a local. That's fine. Enter. Then shall I install the runner plugin for you? Uh, yes. Where is your automation backend is located? On my local machine or if it is in a cloud source lab or browser stack or testing board or different services, then you can choose based on uh, your actual code is. So for the timing, let's select on my local machine. Then which flavor do you want to use? It's a uh, Mocha, Jasmine, and there is no Cucumber over here, but we'll use um, Cucumber. Let's see in config file, let's uh, Mocha, other timing but we'll change it uh, to cucumber because we are going to write in cucumber for this uh, tutorial after that i'll be creating for uh, mocha and jasmine as well shall i install the framework adapter for you yes um, do you want to run over uh, your commands synchronous or asynchronous just uh, make it as a default where your test specs located. Just say, okay. Then which reporter, the WebDriver IO has integration with the various good reporting tools such as a chain reporter, allure, and a report, tal, and concise, somologic, and this is Allure is very good, but I prefer to use JUnit HTML reporter and another is something called Cucumber HTML reporter that is also very good. So for the timing, let's go with JUnit. Okay. Uh, do you want to add a service to your test setup like source, testing board or Fire, Firefox profile, Selenium standalone? Dev tool, apply tool. So for the timing, we'll go with Selenium standalone. Then level log levels. So these things we'll be discussing more on while we'll start uh, in the next, probably in the next session, we'll uh, know more about these log levels. Okay, so let me go with info. This is okay. What is the base URL? Uh, let's, okay, localhost. Installing web WDIO package. So it will install whatever you have selected over here. It will install it. So you can see the installation is in progress. It will download uh, all the dependencies, Selenium, standalone, everything. If there will be any errors, and if you get any error, you just 
try to resolve it manually might be some configurations you can see configuration file was created successfully that means everything looks fine now you can start uh, you, you can start your web driver io program so let's go and see this wdio can uh, conf uh, this is a config file okay so let's see how it looks like in here you'll find it somewhere wdio config file so whatever we have selected uh, that is being uh, here you can see in config file specs everything we'll uh, discuss in detail in the next uh, video thank you thank you very much